Sag. Hey, Sag. Hey, hey, Sag. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hello, Sagittarius. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another reading. Guys, this is a general reading, so take what you can and leave the rest, okay? Um, general readings are timeless, meaning they can manifest and happen at any given point. But if you feel like this does not resonate whatsoever, that is fine. Do check your moon rising and Venus for more information, okay? Um, please be sure to hit the like button, Sagittarius. That way other Sagittarians can watch this video and to be aware of any freaks that may come out, okay? All right. So this is for you, Sagittarius. Yes, moon rising in Venus as well. I will be coming out with your uh, February prediction this week, okay? So look for it. Uh, might be on Thursday more than likely, okay? So look out for that. Please stay tuned. We will be pulling charms, okay? Don't go anywhere. We will be pulling charms, okay? To see who you may be dealing with, their zodiac sign. Right. My daughter's extremely loud because her daycare center is closed because of a COVID case. So I'll try my best to talk as loud as I can, okay? All right. So this is for Sagittarius. What? I'm not even. Okay, well, can I shuffle? No, I'm saying. The one flew out. This partner may be the one you have been looking for, so give it a fair chance. You may be done with an Aries or a Gemini because um, they both pulled both of these cards, okay? What else for um, Sagittarius? What is coming to our Sagittarius in love? What else for the Sagittarius in love? Sagittarius, what else? Discussion. It's time to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with your partner, Sagittarius. It's time for the talk. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on here. Bottom of the deck is attraction. You are now attracting your ideal partner as you stay in the moment and have faith. Right behind that, there is romance. All right, this is for Sagittarius. What is coming for Sagittarius? Love. Sagittarius. What is coming for Sagittarius? And love. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, the overall energy is a page of wands in the reverse. Okay, I kind of feel like uh, Sagittarius, you may be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Possibly this person may not be the most expressive, okay? Um, you kind of want to know what the hell's going on. Where is this going, okay, uh, with a page of wands? Because you see he's in the desert, so sometimes he could be looking for direction. He's trying to figure out where to go here. <laughs> and speaking of that, you have a fool right behind that. Maybe this person, you know, doesn't even know where the hell they're going. So let's see. What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? What is coming towards Sagittarius in love, please? What is coming towards Sagittarius in love, Sagittarius? Ooh, okay. Hmm. What's coming towards Sagittarius in love? What's coming towards Sagittarius in love? What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? Can I have two more cards? What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? One more. Hmm. All right. So, you know what, Sagittarius? I can't help but feel like... One more card. What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? Okay. Somebody might... I'm not even going to front. Somebody may be in a relationship already. That's just the facts. Uh, someone could be tied to someone they have children with. You may be dealing with a Leo. Oh, it's a third party situation, guys. It sure the freak is. Wow. Hmm. But the good news is this, as crazy as this reading is, um, this is somebody who may be your soulmate or maybe you feel that this person is your soulmate, okay? The pull is very strong here, Sagittarius, but the problem is that there's a third factor and the third factor is another person. Somebody may be, you know, maybe they live with someone, they're married, whatever. They have kids with this person. But at the same time, they may not feel very connected with their partner anymore. This could be you, Sagittarius. Take it how it resonates. It is a general reading. Maybe you're the one in the relationship. You're not really happy with your partner anymore. 
and you're kind of seeing somebody, okay? Let's just call it the way it is. Because, <laughs> I mean, you got the Ten of Coins, the Two of Cups, the Sun, the Three of Cups reversed, Ace of Cups. How the hell you got something established and then you got a Three of Cups in the reverse and then the Seven of Swords to top it all off? Okay, so this tells me that um, I might need to go out there and tell her to calm it down because she's very loud. Um, so someone's kind of creeping here. So I creep. Yeah. Someone's creeping, keeping it on a down low. Um, there's strong feelings here. There is. And I strongly feel like you've met your soulmate, Sagittarius, whether they're involved or not. Shit. But I think you've kind of given up on this situation. You don't want to have an affair with this person or just an affair. Okay, someone may be in a dead-end relationship is kind of what I'm getting. They're in a dead-end relationship to where it's very... I mean, you, you, you've you reached the farthest you will get in that kind of relationship. It's not growing them anymore. It's probably not a positive relationship anymore, the tower. Somebody really wants to um, take a new leap here. Somebody wants to take a new leap here. The fool is here. Do you guys see that? The Tower and the Fool. So someone's relationship may not be on a shaky foundation. And this is a secret with the High Priestess, but not for long. Um, why do I feel like... So? Okay, so for some of you, let's say if it's not third party, I feel like this is someone that obviously feels a very strong connection to you. You feel like this is your soulmate. And this person may very well be your soulmate. But at the same time, I feel like uh, this person may kind of be in this energy of like, hmm... Perhaps they don't really want to be in a relationship right now, even though they see a future with you. So take it how it resonates, guys. Give me just a second. I need to, um, she's, she's way too freaking loud. You know they don't listen guys but anyway um yeah basically that is what i'm seeing here sagittarius let's do a little clarification huh there's a lot of resistance and holding back here Whew. maybe someone's staying for the kids i'm kind of maybe going with a pisces a cancer a scorpio an aquarius a leo strong water is showing up here um what is the ten of coins for sagittarius what is the Ten of Coins? And this discussion may be, okay, it's time for us to be real with each other, you know? We're not happy here or I'm not I'm not in love with you anymore. I don't want, okay. Yeah, someone may live with somebody. Four of Wands is here. What is the Two of Cups? Well, we know what the Two of Cups is. Justice. Maybe with a Libra. Oh, what the freak, Sagittarius? Two of Cups is clarified by the Justice card, Four of Swords, and Two of Cups. So this tells me that uh, this person just keeps thinking about you. They feel like you're the right one for them. What is the Seven of Swords for Sagittarius? Even if you guys are not talking right now, you're not communicating. The Sun Reverse. There's a lack of clarity here. Feel like it's a missed opportunity you want to know where it's going so that's the the energy that i get from the page of wands reverse you really want, want to know if this person plans to leave or you know what's the status <laughs> what's the status what's the 411 that's what i'm sensing that you want to know some of you don't get me wrong maybe you're not dealing with this person anymore but i mean point blank period this is someone that you feel strongly about okay what is the ace of cups for sagittarius the Four of Coins, the Five of Cups, and the Five of Wands. What is the Three of Cups reverse for Sagittarius? Some of you may be casual with this person, um, and you want more here. You want more. Queen of Cups. There's feelings. Someone caught feelings. <gasps> Sagittarius. Whoa, there's a lot of soulmate indicators here. This is someone that um, you have a past life connection with, whether you're involved or not. I don't give a damn whether they're married or not. And they've caught feelings. Someone has caught feelings here. King, King and the Queen of Cups came out together. But someone's not feeling very optimistic that 
this is going to come together or that you guys will be together because of a, mar uh, a marriage or a relationship or kids or something. All right. All right, Sagittarius. That's what it's showing. The High Priestess, the Four of Cups reversed, the Hierophant, marriage. But not a happy one, though. Ten of Cups is in reverse. Okay. Romance. This is a very loving courtship and romantic courtship that could lead to more. Disconnect. There's confusion in a situation because you're not on the same page. And pleasure, you will have a good time together, but it may not last for a long time in chemistry. So that's what it's about. It's like you can only go so far with this person because A, they're probably involved, or B, they may not be looking for a relationship right, right now. No matter how much this person likes you, okay? But these feelings right here, Sagittarius, they just can't be denied, okay, my love? Yes, this person is definitely in love here. I hate to say it, but let's say this is your partner or something. And you suspect that, you know, yeah, they are cheating and they are dealing with someone else. They may be in love with somebody else, Sagittarius. Okay. Or Sagittarius, maybe you're in this situation and you're in love with somebody else. Okay. I'll never stop loving you. What does this person want to tell Sagittarius? Will you be mine? Let's talk in person. I'll make more time. New person. I'm settling for you. So this settling for you, I feel like it has to do with someone, the person who's in the relationship. They're settling for who they're with. Let's go on a date. What else for Sagittarius? I'm leaving them. <laughs> this one always comes out. <laughs> soulmates. I pulled the soulmates cards, guys. Mm -hmm. You guys are soulmates. I love you. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Only you can please me, Sagittarius. One more. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Well, how many so many indicators do we need to see? Right? How many do we need to see, Sag? Whew. This person's feelings for you are so strong. So strong. Okay. Um, so let's pull some charms, guys. Let's see. I don't know why my child is so loud. I just Okay. okay, Sagittarius, who is Sagittarius dealing with? All right, so this could be in their moon rising or their Venus, Sagittarius, just like I thought, Gemini is here. You got Gemini, Leo, and Capricorn. Uh, the letters, you have J-A-S-L-I-R-P-H-G-Z, another J, there is an elephant here, a sting will. Basically, you want to know where the hell this is going. Um, and yeah, that's what we have here, Sagittarius, okay? There's a letter T as in Tom. Uh, someone may do music, okay? But this was an interesting reading, Sagittarius. Uh, but I kind of feel the need to pull like a little bit more to get a little bit. Let me pull a bit more cards. What else can you tell us about the situation? For Sagittarius, what else can you tell us? Someone's in two places. Oh, I just said that. Somebody is in two places at once. That's what I feel. Someone may be married to a narcissist or someone who's very mean and treats them like crap. Or your partner's treating you like crap because they're cheating and they're 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 in love with someone else. Okay, take it how it resonates. But someone's definitely in two places at once. Whenever I see the two of coins reverse. Mm -hmm. And then we have another three here, three of wands reverse. But I, I, I'm kind of getting the feeling that you're kind of tired of waiting for this. You feel like it's not, whatever you're waiting for, is, it's, it's not going to come. It's it's in vain here, Sagittarius. But I mean, you guys are definitely soulmates. See, someone's waiting. They're waiting. They want their Sag. It may be hard for someone to leave because the person that they're with is a damn narcissist. So, but you know, Saj, the number one thing that I'm hearing in this reading is that this love just can't be denied. It just can't be denied, okay? Whew. Anyway, love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. Talk to you guys soon.